Hello, Shane's Brain here, and today's topic is Independence Day, and why I think we should call it that instead of the 4th of July. If you are new here, this is Shane's Brain, an interesting place where the contents of my brain are finally allowed to be experienced by the world. I talk about things, I say silly stuff, I act like a weirdo, and it's free, I think. I post every Wednesday of every week, so stay tuned. The Declaration of Independence was approved by the Continental Congress on July 4th, 1776. The drafting of the document was entrusted to a committee consisting of John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Sherwin Williams. No, it's not Sherwin. <laughs> it's not Sherwin Williams. John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Sher John. What is his name? Roger Sherman and Robert Livingston, I presume. The committee assigned the task to Thomas Jefferson as a result of his reputation as a literary craftsman. There were many sources and inspirations used, many tremendous minds involved, and determination in every sentence. The Declaration of Independence is spectacular. In it we find truths, rights, privileges, and obligations. Our independence is what it declares. Our independence is its focus. They were not particularly concerned about the day it was approved. Is this a, what day is this? Precisely why the famous document was not named the Declaration of the 4th of July. So I don't understand why most people say Happy 4th of July instead of Happy Independence Day. It's our independence that we're celebrating, not the 4th day of July. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. This is the only holiday that I'm aware of that we do this. We don't say, Happy February 14th. We don't say, Happy March 17th. We don't sing, We wish you a merry 25th of December and a happy January 1st. I'm dreaming of a white 25th of December. Imagine the uproar of the Christian world if we were to take Christ out of the title and refer to Christmas almost exclusively as the 25th of December. Boo! Boo! Then why not the uproar of an independent nation when that very thing occurs every Independence Day? Parades fill the streets, the canyons overflow with people, the smells of potato salad and barbecue ascend into the air, Streams of fire shoot into the sky and explode with intensity. Heck, some people may even do this. In the back of everyone's mind is the reason for the celebration. And with every happy 4th of July, it gets pushed back a little farther. What are we celebrating? Indeed, there is great cause to celebrate. Our independence is priceless. It's the reason we can make the fourth day of July a happy one, as well as all the other days of the year. Let us appreciate our independence more. Let us acknowledge it more by using it in our greetings and in our speeches when referring to the day that we celebrate our independence. Let us remember that every day, whether it be March 12th or October 17th or July 4th, it is a day that our freedoms are enjoyed. And whether we realize it or not, we treasure our independence. From now on, join with me in referring to this holiday as Independence Day, its proper and official name. Or you can do whatever you want. I don't care. It's a free country. So there. John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, uh, <clears throat> Thomas Jefferson, John <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> Roger Sherman. Roger Sherman. I can't remember his name. Ro I'm free to do what I want and do what I want any old time. I don't think I got that right. I'm free. To do as I choose, to say what I like, to wear my pink shoes any old time. I don't actually have pink shoes. 
Hey, thanks for watching as always. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and celebrate your independence by watching some more of my videos. Aha. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day.